Hello, um, so June was a month that happened quite some time ago. I'm sorry that these videos keep coming out late. I don't intend to do it. It just keeps happening. I don't actually know what I'm doing with my time to mean that they come out late, but eh, let's just look at June's models. First up this month was an epic scale knight that was featured in a recent video over on the main channel. These are adorable little buggers and a lot of fun to paint. This one is painted up as House Terran since I thought it would be fun to paint a knight from the early 90s in a colour scheme strongly associated with the modern iteration. I also gave it a goblin green base because it just felt right. I did a whole video about assembling and painting a pair of these, so if you want to see more then I'll put a link at the end of the video. Next up is an epic scale tactical squad painted up as Imperial Fist 3rd Company. Yeah, for some reason I've been on a small epic kick recently. These, along with a bunch of other epic marines, were sent to us by Jeremy, so thank you very much Jeremy. These are also the first thing that I painted using the new contrast paints, or at least the yellow on them was. Honestly, epic models seem like a really good fit for contrast since they're so small that doing too many coats of any kind of paint would be inadvisable. Although I suppose it makes sense that Games Workshop haven't exactly advertised this fact since epic doesn't kind of exist anymore. I should also probably mention that this was done over a base coat of Humbral White Acrylic Spray, which I bring up since some people seem to be convinced that Contrast will only work over the two new sprays that GW released alongside the Contrast line, and that's, you know, not true? Regardless, Contrast made doing the yellow take literally seconds, so I can't really complain. I gave these a green base just like the nice, you know, just for consistency. The next one is just a regular Primaris, but I did this one as a quick test to see how contrast would work over a metallic base coat. In this case, the base coat was Lead Belcher and the contrast paint was Fleshed Hair as Red. It created a pretty interesting effect, not sure how well it comes across on camera, but in person it gives an almost brushed metal effect. With these particular paints anyway, it's like a dull finish but with the metallic tones underneath. Granted, it did pull a bit in some of the larger flat areas, but that's pretty common with contrast. It is, after all, very similar to a thick wash in a lot of respects, and I'm still learning how it behaves. The rest of the marine was painted pretty basically, just so I could see how the effect would look when everything was done. So it's just flat colours and washes with no highlights. Although I will say that contrast does seem to rub off pretty easily, so if you plan to play with models painted like this, it might be worth giving them a quick spray varnish to protect them, as it can be a bit of a pain to neaten it up. Still, this was a fun little test to try, and I already have some ideas of how to improve it, like by adding highlights to the base coat before adding the contrast to help it pop a little bit more, so I'll probably have another shot at doing something like this in the future. Overall, contrast paints are pretty good at what they're supposed to be used for, and pretty good at a few things they're not. Although, I'm unlikely to use them for much if I'm honest, I'm just too used to doing things the old way, I suppose. That and a lot of the things that I paint, like my metallic marines, I couldn't really do with contrast anyway. Last up for June is another night painted for the main channel video. I wanted to paint this one up in a Mechanica scheme, so I went for House Tyrannus, but with a simplified version of the iconography. And painting those little logos on the shoulders is an absolute nightmare, let me tell you. Those shoulders are about half the size of a marine's, so, you know, they're pretty small. Again, not much to say about this one that isn't already in the night video, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So, there we are. I really wanted to get more done in June, but painting those nights and doing the video surrounding the painting did end up taking a lot longer than I intended, so I suppose it makes sense. And at least now I have some more epic minis painted, which is always fun. I now stand at 28 models painted in 2019 against 25 models bought. So although I didn't paint as much as I wanted to, I am officially now over the halfway point, and so I've started building those sanguinary guard that I bought months ago now. No idea how long it will take before I get any of them painted, but still here's one that I have built and base coated so you get a bit of an idea of what I'm going for. In July I've got some specific things to paint for main channel videos again, so all I can say right now is, there's gonna be a lot more silver.